Oh, YouTube. I have a little contraption set up to keep my phone up. Uh, this is a fragrance unboxing. I've already cut the box with my little Gerber knife. Tractor Supply Special is like $9.99, $9.99, that is. Uh, ordered from Fumerie Parfume. Uh, Tracy, I believe her name is, she is always so nice to deal with, nice to email. Uh, she does everything she can to help. There was, I, I was asking about some scents and uh, sent her an email. And, and she gladly gave me some recommendations since the stuff that I really hadn't heard of and I really wasn't too familiar with, but uh, she named them to me and I tried a few of them. I really liked them. But this is fragrance is from the House of Papillon. Um, if you remember on my old channel, I talked a lot about Papillon. Papillon uh, perfumes. Uh, some people say pa Papillon. I just say Papillon. You know, Papillon just like the movie. Uh, the original with Steve McQueen and the uh, the most recent one, I think, that has Chris Pine in it, maybe. The original was a lot better. I don't really like Chris Pine as an actor. I don't really think he's an actor. He, you know, he, well, I guess you got to be acting to do Giorgio Armani commercials. Anyways, no rant. Uh, and they always leave their card in here. Yes, uh... Here is their number and number and such. If you want to get a hold of them, I'll probably put it in the description below, or if not, I'll forget. But oh well. Nonetheless, you know, not really care about that part of it. Always packaged well when it comes from Fumari Parfume, and uh, I really got in introduced to Fumari Parfume uh, through. I don't even want to look at the samples yet. Through. Therapeutic Fragrance, Brandon from Therapeutic Fragrance, uh, quite some time ago, about two or three years, it been three years, maybe two or three years ago, it's probably only been two, but oh well, and, and he was actually the one that turned me on to the house of Papillon, uh, it's an artisanal house, uh, which I, you know, I really don't like using the terms artisanal or indie because it kind of puts them in that sector to where they have natural high quality ingredients, but the perfuming isn't there. And personally, I think that Liz Moores does an amazing job at perfuming, uh, or as being a perfumer, a perfumista, I guess you could say. And here's the box. Uh, on the back, it says Tonka, Sweet Myrrh, Rose, Sandalwood, and Oris. Uh, the ingredients, alcohol, parfum, benzol, cinnamate, I guess that's cinnamon. Uh, benzol, benzonate, ben, benzoate, I guess that's uh, benzoin. Citrol, Citronol, Cumarin, Eugenol, shout out to Eugene, Farnesol, Geranol, Limonene, Limon, I can't pronounce it, uh, and, Avrin and Avrinia Pruistu, oh, which is oak moss, I guess so. Um, it is known that there are two perfumers um, who are able to legally use perfumes, and legally use oak moss in their perfumes. And that is Thierry Wasser and Bertrand Duchefort. They're actually able to extract it and use real oak moss in their composite compositions. I'm not sure if she's using real oak moss here. Uh, this is a great fragrance. I've tr sampled it several times before. Uh, and back to how what I was talking about was that I got a sample of this before uh, when I went to Lucky Sit and just went crazy. I bought like $200 worth of samples. Waited a long time for it, but you know, that's Lucky Scent for you. And, and I tried it, and, and I really liked it. And I bought a decant, like two or three ml decant. And then I bought another one, and, and I really just never got back around to it because I, you know, I had different things going on. I was talking, you know, I was involved with a lot of other fragrances, and I, wanted, I was in love with them. But here's, you know, the packaging. I, I don't want to cut it and scuff up the box, even though I ended up throwing the box away anyway. I throw all the boxes away. It's so much easier to... Uh, take your fragrances and, and when I move this is what I do is I take my fragrances and I put them with my underwear and my socks and just put them in a big tote and carry them around that way a simple cardboard box you know I think this is how a lot of fragrances should be just a simple cardboard box I don't need to know 
all the other crap that you know you could put into it blah 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 some brands spend all their money on the packaging as you can see you know, a nice bottle easy to really just kind of hold in your hand and you know show off it sits there fine uh, the cap has a good cap on it this bottle has never been sprayed before it See if anything is floating around in there. Hold on me. I don't see anything floating around in there, but the juice is dark. I'm not sure about her ratio of naturals to synthetics, and I'm not sure about, uh, you know, like I said, the oak moss or certain things like this. But this, to me, is really just a sexy scent. It's effortlessly sexy, and a lot of people compare this to Shalimar, and this does have little nods to Shalimar, you know, but I don't think it is an exact copy. Just like with so many times people talk about, you know, Shalimar and Le Leon. I think that this is kind of in the same vein as those. I mean, spray some on the arm. Gets a nice sprayer look. Very direct, but gives, gives out a nice shot of juice. Oh yeah, blended beautifully. Definitely some oak moss in here, wow. Okay, I, I didn't remember that there being that much oak moss. Warm, sweet. Definitely get some tonka. A beautiful scent. I think that this is better than the current formulation and the current stuff of... Definitely better than the current stuff of Shalimar. The new stuff is, is pretty weak. But it's still pretty good at the same time. Yeah, this is some next level stuff. It really is. And I love, I love, love, love the brand as a whole. It's all blended beautifully. It really is. It's, it's, it's top quality. But most importantly, you can tell that there's love in here. She made it to mimic her cat, Mimi. The feeling of uh, her fur, the warmth of her rubbing up against her. That didn't sound right. And I can totally get that because this is a warm fragrance. This is a cuddly fragrance. This is a welcoming, inviting fragrance that says, hey, you know, come here a little bit closer. I'll let me touch your kitty, you know. But Wow, that oak moss is really apparent. And the sample I had, it was just a little dab. The first sample I had was just a little dabber. And I really don't remember getting this much oak moss. <laughs> Once again, my nose is stopping up. I'm doing a review. I don't know why. But, and then with the two little decants, I don't remember it being this much oak mossy. Wow, that's a lot of oak moss. It really is. I mean, this is on, on camera realness. There's something, there's something else in there I'm picking up on. It's almost a brightness, maybe. It might be the rose that's somewhat bright. It might be the rose, it's like a little bright rose, maybe. Definitely got some iris and sandalwood in here. Myrrh, frankincense, a little bit of gold. Baby Jesus. And here are my samples that I got, because this is an you know, unboxing. Uh, Quartana Ierfonte. Ierofonte. I have no idea what this, that is. Goldfield and Banks Bohemian Lime. Not really a huge fan of Goldfield and Banks, but I guess I'll try that one. Mio Fushini Little Song. Can't remember if it's that one I like or the or uh, Odor ninety three. And then Arquist Misfit. Hmm. Anyways, really excited to try these. I'll probably be doing a first impressions video on some of the other ones. This really wasn't a first impressions video because I've smelled this one a few times before. Gone through like five, six mLs of it, but I'll talk about it later. It'll probably be in one of my uh, videos. It's a it's spicy. That's a humor, and that's the humor in it. Spicy. What is that smell? It's not just that. It's cinnamon. Cinnamon? Is it cinnamon? Ah, 
or something. What is that note? What is that note? It's very familiar, but it's very unique at the same time. Oh well. Hope everyone has a great day. I will see you all later.